Today, we'll be walking through some troubleshooting steps you can take to fix crashes in Adobe Premiere Pro on Mac OS. The first step is to ensure that you're using the latest version of Adobe Premiere. You can check the version you're using by going to the Creative Cloud desktop application. Navigate to the Apps tab and then find Premiere Pro from your list of apps. You can tell if you're running the latest version if the status says Up to Date. Another method to check the version is to navigate to the What's New in Premiere Pro page, which will have the latest version number. Then you can match this number with the version that you see in your Creative Cloud desktop application. The next step is to try resetting the preferences and cleaning the media cache files. To do this, we will launch Premiere Pro and as it's loading, we will hold down one of the modifier keys such as Command, Option, or Shift. This will bring up a Reset Options dialog box that allows us to reset our preferences and clear cache files. It is recommended to check all three of these boxes, but you could also try each option separately. Once selected, I'll click on Continue to launch Premiere to see if that step worked. The next step is to check your third-party plugins. There are two methods to do this. The first method is to navigate to this location in Finder and manually move the plugins out of the folder and try launching Premiere. The second method is to repeat the previous step by bringing up this dialog box and then select the Disable Third-Party Plugins option. If either of these methods fix the issue, then you should reach out to your plugin vendors and see if there are any available updates that will allow the plugins to be compatible with Premiere Pro. Another step we take is to validate our fonts and remove any corrupted font files. To do this, we will navigate to the Fontbook application. Here, we will select all of the fonts using Command A, or going to Edit and Select All. Then, we will right-click and select Validate. This might take a few minutes to process. Once it's finished, you will see the status of your fonts below. If any corrupt fonts were found, you should remove them, restart your machine, and launch Premiere Pro to see if that resolved the issue. Another step we can take is to turn off any possible security or antivirus software that you might have installed on your system. With those turned off, relaunch Premiere Pro and see if that works. If that was the issue, then you will need to add Premiere Pro as an exemption within your security software so that it is no longer considered a threat. The final recommended step to troubleshooting Premiere Pro is to launch it under an admin user profile. In some cases, the issue might be that the user doesn't have proper permissions. If Premiere opens successfully with an admin user profile, you will need to contact your administrator to get the proper permissions added to your user profile. If you try all of these steps and your issues still persist, you can open a support case to have Adobe Support reach out to you to help with the issue. I want to walk you through the best practices when opening a support case. To begin, let's walk through filling out a crash report. When Premiere Pro crashes, you should see a crash report dialog box. In this dialog box, you can explain what issue you're experiencing, what version of Premiere Pro you are using, or any other helpful information. Then check this box and enter your email address so that Adobe may contact you. Lastly, you should click on View Report. Copy and paste the crash report into a document to attach it to the case later on. Then, send the report. With the crash report sent, you can submit the case to Adobe as well. Mention the email address that was provided in the crash report as well as the information you provided in the dialog box. There are some things you can attach to your support case to best help troubleshoot the issue. First, attach the crash report that you pasted into a document when submitting the crash report. You can also attach a system report. I will show you how to save a system report that you can attach to your case. Navigate to the Apple menu, click on System Settings, under the General tab, click on System Report. This will open your report. To save it, go to File, select Save, choose the location where you would like the file to be saved, and give it a name. The file extension should be .spx. Select Save, and now you can zip this file and attach it to your support case. If you're experiencing project-specific issues rather than the whole program, you should also attach a zipped Premiere Pro project file and system compatibility report to the case. You can access the system compatibility report by going to Premiere Pro, clicking on Help, and going to System Compatibility Report. Click on Export Report, save the file, and then attach it to the case. If it is a project-specific issue, it is helpful to explain the workflow that triggers a crash. 
If possible, attach a screen recording to demonstrate the problem. Including all of this documentation will give Adobe Support all of the tools to best help solve your issue. Those were the recommended troubleshooting steps to help you in the case that Premiere Pro crashes. If none of these steps helped or you need additional help, we are always here to help and answer your questions. Thanks for watching.